Hi students, today's topic is uh, subphylum vertebrata. Here vertebrata also called as craniata. Here that urochordata, cephalochordata undercomes the acraniata, whereas the vertebrata called as a craniata. And urochordata and cephalochordata called as a protochordata also. Now vertebrata again have a two subdivisions which are the subcategories agneta and gnetostomata. Igneta means jawless organisms. It has a class class cyclostomata and astrocodermy which are the extant one. And vertebrata have a next category is a gnetostomata which have a base jaws. Have a super classes there Pisces and tetrapods. Pisces which are the having the fins. Tetrapods have a limbs. Pisces superclass divided into contractis and ostractis. These are the two classes. Whereas the superclass tetrapoda have a again divisible into four classes amphibia, reptilia, and apes and mammals. Here vertebrates class cyclostomata. These cyclostomata, which are the these are the two parasites on some fishes. That mouth is round, stroma means mouth, cyclo means round mouth. This body is elongated with scales and pad fins are there. That pharyngeal gill slit number is 16, 6 to 15. They have a sucking or the circular mouth is there without jaws. With that mouth it will be stuck on the other animal body. That cordlessness, cranium and vertebral column is present. Circulation is closed type of circulation. Marine generally but uh, migrate for the spanning purpose, fresh water to marine water to fresh water. That migration is called as the that uh, catadromous and anadromous two types migration there. But here it shows the anadromous migration for the spanning purpose. They have to move from the marine water to fresh water. After laying eggs to the race, it will be die. The larvas will be come back to the same position, same habitat. Their larvae after metamorphosis return to the ocean, that's the after spanning. This is called as the anadromous migration. Whereas the catadromous migration means it's from the fresh water to sea water. Whereas the here sea, they have given the petromyzen and the mixin also called as egg phase. Petromyzen generally called as a lamprey. And here lamprey and mixin are the example of that. And Pisces, the next one is the, in this super class, beard fins, which are the chondrichthys and ostrichthys. Chondrichthys, which are the cartilaginous fishes, whereas the ostrichthys are the bony fishes. That endoskeleton is made up of cartilage, chondrichthys, they have a chondroitin protein. Ostrichthys, which have a bone, that is a bony fishes. Here are the differences of these two. Contact this marine and streamlined body, mostly predaceous. These are also marine and freshwater. Streamlined body, you can notice here that uh, cartilaginous endoskeleton is present here. Notochord is persist throughout the life. And here, bony endoskeleton is there. These are the anatomical structure of these both uh, fishes. And here, mouth is present, the ventral and powerful jaws are there. That's why these are under comes the neotostomata. And here ostrichthys, whereas is a terminal mouth is there, here gill slits without operculum. Here operculum is absent in the contrictis, but chimera fish have a operculum which is a contrictis even though gills are covered by generally operculum, but here absent in the contrictis. Whereas ostrichthys, four pairs of gills with operculum is present, that's a gill covering is present. And here skin with the plocoid scales. Okay, teeth are modified, plocoid scales only, which are uh, backwardly directed, very strong. In the toast, these scales are cycloid, which are the round and rough, and a T-node are there. And here, no air bladder is present in the contact this, so that uh, fishes constantly have to swim to avoid the sinking. But air blood is uh, present in the ostrichthys for the buoyancy. Whereas the Contrictis and ostrichthys both are cold-blooded organisms. They are not able to maintain 
their body temperature they have to maintain according to their environment which tends to that and here two chambered heart is present in the contact is as well as the uh, ostrich also one uh, article and one atrium which is the article and ventricle is there in this uh, atrium and sinus venous is there and ventricle is there and the conus arterius is present in these uh, both faces also sexes are separate in the both and male have a pelvic fin base the claspers as a copulatory organs fertilization is internal many are the vivi paras in the contractis here ostrichthys also sexes are separate external fertilization takes place mostly ovi paras development is direct means is no larval forms here scoliodon commonly called as a dog fish these are all contractis fishes or the cartilaginous fishes here corcodon is the great white shark pristis is the soft fish its uh, snout look like a saw trigon is the string ray the string ray the tail have a poisonous sting torpedo electric ray the electric producing organs which are in the abdominal muscles whereas the ostrichthys in the super class of that ostrichthys examples marine and freshwater and aquarium fishes there marine fishes which are the exocetus we call as a flying fish the fins which are modified like a wings hippocampus called as a sea horse the male have a broad pouch the organism which is vertically movement which is the nothing but ostrichthys hippocampus freshwater labio rojo commonly called as a rohu is lives in the freshwater katla katla also katla and clarius magur that's a magur fish and more over the aquarium fish of the betta fighting fish and tirophyllum is the angel fish these are the freshwater and marine water fishes here yeah, look into the picture here we can see that nostrils and ventral mouth and cut edge of the operculum is there which covers the gin covering and gills are located there and kidney is present and swim bladder is there to maintain the buoyancy and the gonads also present here and caudal fin dorsal fins and ventral fins pelvic fins also present in the fish intestine digestive system everything as it is there